Hello and welcome back to Small Town Garden Life. My name is Lindy. For those of you that don't know me, I am an avid gardener, a lover of sustainability and thrifting, and a new twin mom to two preemie boys. It is an unseasonably nice day in February and I thought it would be kind of fun to show you my garden before it all starts to get planted and starts blooming. This year we are doing a pretty big garden renovation. We're adding six raised beds that are eight feet by four feet and we are also adding flower fabric for our cut flower garden. So things are gonna take a really big transformation and I thought it would be fun to look back on this video um, and then also inspire you, you know, to see your space in a different way so you can see the before and after and see what you can make out of a blank canvas. So if this is something you're interested in, just keep on watching. our garden space. They actually used to keep horses in it, um, but as soon as we moved in, we decided to put a garden in there. Now we don't own this property, we do rent it, um, but it will be a little bit of a long-term rental. So we are making it our own and having so much fun doing it. These are my little helpers, my twin boys. They were born 13 weeks early, so they're nine months old, but technically they're only six months old. Typical twin mom life. We have one that's in such a good mood, aren't you? And then his brother over here has a big alligator tear. Oh my gosh. We are in the garden. Right now there's still a little bit of snow on the ground, but soon this is going to be filled with so many flowers and vegetables. And it just makes my heart super happy thinking about it. I have six raised beds all along here. Um, they are pre-made with the blocks, so you don't actually have to screw any of them in, and we got the blocks from Lowe's. Let me get a little bit closer and I can show you. They are just called planter wall blocks, and they look like this, and then you can just slide boards into each of these little slats, and you don't have to do any nailing. So it's super awesome if you are not handy and you just want to put something together really quickly. When we added these raised beds last summer, our goal was to have a perennial garden. So I planted strawberries, asparagus, and herbs that would come back every year. This is the rest of our garden space. It's a total mess right now. Right here, we this is a part of our new addition. We added these two new raised beds last year, but we haven't planted anything in them yet. And then this is the rest of the garden that will take the total transformation. We're adding a raised bed here. And then here is where our six four by eight beds will go. And then if you go a little bit farther back here, the rest of that will be flower fabric and also some brassicas and some melons. Thank you so much for hanging out in the garden with me. I'm really excited to share this transformation with you and bring you along as everything grows in our life and also our garden. If this is something that you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe and share this with your friends. I also talk a lot about motherhood, sustainability, and of course, all things gardening on my Instagram. So go over to that and check me out. It's just at Small Town Garden Life. Until the next video.